Got a few things to unbox here today, two of which I'm still undecided on. But I'm at least going to show them. Um, it's been a while. I'm not going to make excuses for the few people that watch my videos. I have just been lazy. That's all it is. So I got some things in the mail. I'm going to do an unboxing. And hope you guys enjoy it. Alrighty, here's everything. Here it is. I already opened that. I got too excited. Uh, I did do the customization on that. It's not finished. Uh, and then, of course, they said, oh, hey, if you got one, you can, you know, email us to get a new head. So now I'm upset. Uh, yeah. So here's everything. Now it's time to uh, get started. Um, so I think I'm going to start with... The Grip and Flip WCW Wrestlers. Uh, I had these when I was little. Um, I got them. I don't really know why. Um, I wanted them. Obviously, I'm going to let my son play with them. Because I think he'll like them. So, yeah. I'm going to open them up. Uh, damage box. Purposefully. Ugh. When do these come out? Like 90... Something? Grip and flip. 99. So I would have been three, depending on when they were released. But I know I used to have them as a kid, and I loved it. So box. You know, yours was on the card. You see the other ones. Diamond Dallas Page and Raven. Jericho Malenko. Uh, they have a couple other sets as well, but... Yeah. All right. So I'm going to start with the chair. Oh, this is loud. Oh, yeah. So the chair's got this little metal piece. Uh, very loose chair. I don't remember it being like that. But I also had them when I was a tiny baby. Uh, WCW, NWO. Um, pretty neat. Pretty neat. Well, these were definitely like before their time because now like we didn't get another belts like with this kind of stuff until Mattel with wrestling figures at least uh like WWE style so I think that that's always pretty cool it almost looks kind of warped I don't know if it came like that or if it's just from sitting as long as it has but the WCW title Goldberg. Action still works, which is awesome. Well, the question is, does a magnet still work? Oh. Magnet still works. Okay. I remember as a little kid, I brought this to, like, the daycare program I went to called Kinder Care, I think it was, in California. I lost it in a bush and I never saw it again. I don't know why I remember it so well. And then this one, uh, of course, uh, this leg snapped off as a little kid. So that's what happened to my Hollywood Hogan. Let's see, do these. Oh, yeah. Babe. Uh, and then Hogan even has like a magnet on his back. I don't know if it's on both, if it's on the leg. I know he's got one on his back, so you can, you're supposed to be able to throw him up. But obviously, these magnets aren't that strong anymore. But it's still cool that they can at least do this. You throw them around. As a kid, these were so much fun. So I'm sure my son will like having them. Uh, yeah. Makes me go back to my little kid days. Oh. Oh. Just do like a... Oh, yeah. Definitely not the best, like, playability-wise, but definitely a lot of fun for a child. And I think if I were to ever get any other sets of these, honestly, it'd probably be, I think, Sting and Hogan come in a set. So I'd probably get that. But I really just wanted the chair, because... I don't know why. I thought the whole thing was metal. So maybe there's a different one that has an all-metal chair. I don't know. 
Either way, it's cool to have an NWO WCW chair again. Put these figures. Okay. Next up, um, let's do the child. Um, Hasbro, you know, little baby, baby Yoda, the child. Oof. I don't feel like getting a knife to like break all the tape and everything, so. Gotta be careful, there is little pieces with this. Um, obviously, if you haven't noticed, I'm a big Star Wars and wrestling guy. Got the little baby Yoda. I think this is pretty cool. Does this come out? Oh, oh, okay. Note to self, if you don't have this and you plan on getting it, these are very loose once they get them out of the package. The little frog that he eats. He comes with the little bowl for soup. Ah. And the little, uh, like, toggle from the driving stick in his ship. You can't even see it because it's so tiny. So that's dangerous. Uh, keep out of reach of children. Those will 100% stay in this little case as to not have my son choke on them. The little baby Yoda. Get the head movement, the arms. Um, pretty neat. The little feet. Oh. Well, that's not a fun way to start the video. We'll just clip back in. Okay, it's all good. It just clicks in. We're fine. Cool. I did pre-order the Beskar Armor Mandalorian from uh, Amazon. Yeah, pretty cool. Not much articulation as it is a tiny, tiny figure. But I did more and more trash to my pile. Uh, we'll go with Ezra next. Uh, this is from the new set. The re-releases of them that came with Zeb. Um, I do like the box art, but I'm not a mint on card guy, so. Let's just, uh, you know, ruin it. I know when I started to get back into collecting Star Wars figures, um, I couldn't get him because his original release figure is at least was expensive so i couldn't get him because i'm not going to spend as much money as people were asking uh, okay it's not like he had something shaking inside of him it doesn't it's all good lightsaber pretty standard um awesome i thought i just broke it but we're good it does come out of the hilt which is pretty awesome because as you know if you watch rebels the hilt is also a, you know, gun, which I think is one of the cooler lightsabers in Star Wars. Uh, you know, unless you're Obi-Wan, which in that case, you would say so uncivilized. But, yeah. Good articulation. Assuming nothing breaks right now. Oof. Joints are stiff, but it is a brand new figure, so I guess that's good. That's a weird area. Oh, don't like that. Yeah, these are definitely stiff joints, so just be careful for anyone that buys them. I actually got this one from Matt Cardona, who is formerly known as Zack Ryder. Um, bought it off of him. So pretty cool. I don't know, does the helmet actually... Oh, you can't put the helmet on. So that's pretty neat. So, I definitely like this figure. And he will go next to my Kanan. Unless he doesn't stand. Alright. Well, we'll play with that later. Uh, like I showed you, the White Ranger. Um, missing a lot of paint. And... Uh, just like quality control issues from Hasbro, so I'll be customizing that and probably showing the finished product later. Like I had to add the black trim on the boots. I added the black for the eye and these little stripes here. And then, of course, for this, and I've cleaned up a couple areas where it's just missing it. Like the gloves are going to need it. So, um, yeah, I'll, whenever I finish that up, it'll be done. I have his extra hands. Here's the little effect he came with for his sword. Uh, still a great figure. I'm very happy that they came out with this one as he's one of my favorite rangers. 
So yeah. Gaming greats, Force Awakens uh, Shadow Stormtrooper. Uh, when this one came out, I was positive that I would never see it in the stores. Went to GameStop to pick up the Avengers game, which is also a lot of fun. And it was there. So I was like, okay, that is mine. I like the blue in the back of the packaging. I got these guns out first. I do like that he comes with both of these. Ooh. Armor's kind of like see-through-ish, which is neat. I like that. Uh, I didn't play Force Awakens a ton, just because I never really got into the games, except for like the Battlefront games. Um, I do want to play it, though, because it always looked fun. I just didn't at first get into it, so... Um, yeah. This is cool, though. I like this a lot. He's got, like, a... I don't know if you guys can... How well the camo will pick it up. Let's see if I move it. Yeah. He's got, like, the kind of glitter paint. Uh, this is awesome. I wish I'd opened this sooner, but I wanted to leave it for a video. Hmm. I don't like this, though. Almost like a uh uh. His fingers, like the paint looks weird on these though. Or like almost like they almost got kind of melted. And maybe it's just the way that the plastic is, or I don't know. I've melted a couple figures, so I know what the plastic would look like. But uh yeah, that's a little weird. I am gonna put oh, what the heck's going on here? Does he not hold it? As first reported by my YouTube channel, uh, not all of these hold their blasters real well. I'll post this guy later. This guy's awesome. I'm gonna be a big fan. Um, oh, was it just out of focus that whole time? Come on. There we go. Now, when I'm having difficulties. So these, if you listen to the Major Wrestling Figure podcast, podcast, or if you watch their YouTube channel, or maybe you're in the Patreon, um, I do all of it. Uh, these were their first two sets of figures that came out. I just need the Stomp one to complete it. Um, I got a great deal on these, and I just <sighs> wanted to get them to make them Lucy. But the more I look at them the less I know what to do. My wife said I should open them. I want to open them, but with them being limited edition, in my brain, I'm just telling myself, you can't do it. But I know other people did. Mm. I don't know what to do. Why don't you guys tell me, for anyone watching, Tell me what to do. Should I open them? Should I not open them? I don't know. It's nice. Especially with like, they have the new ones that are going to be released. I already pre-ordered the Super 7 figures. <sighs> do I open them? Do I keep them closed? I don't know. <laughs> what I do know is the Shadow Trooper is awesome. But yeah, why don't you guys tell me what to do? I'll give it like a week, see if anyone comments anything, and if not, uh, you know, we'll figure it out. I hope everyone has a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope everyone has a good weekend. Bye! Mm -hmm.